All these people in the Hollywood scene expect us to believe that everybody knew this and everybody knew that. All these people interviewed these individuals. Certain individuals were in possession of so-called evidence, but yet they needed to build all these platforms, construct this docuseries, put all this one-sided information out there while the whole industry turns a blind eye to what we clearly see playing out. And many wanted to give individuals the benefit of the doubt. Other people are envious of the individuals they try to throw under the bus. But Jim Carrey said a lot when he said, this industry is full of shit in so many words and how these people can sit here and sugarcoat things we clearly see in our face to give light to narratives and bullshit propaganda that we cannot validate based off of hearsay and so-called bad act witnesses. But it's funny how quick Jim Carrey jumped back out here to backtrack on his original stance to accommodate the allegations that surrounds him, just like any other artist I've mentioned before. So many artists have rumors, allegations, and settlements that a lot of people avoid talking about like they did when it came to Robert Kelly. And all these people who came to the internet to put all this janky information out there as though it's factual are the people who have been my problem from jump. Anybody with eyes can see the janky business and extortion I've laid out on my channel. Meanwhile, these individuals in the Hollywood scene know certain facts about individuals, participated in certain narratives, and are now sitting back looking crazy because, as I said a long time ago, if we think about the way they strategically attacked this man and manipulated the laws using propaganda, we can see where the common man will have an issue in common life situations when people want to do the same thing when it comes to discrimination, racial profiling, etc, etc. So when I built my platform to show you all that what we are seeing is way bigger than Robert Kelly or any individual person, I cannot take serious the people who gave these people platforms to play in your face and obviously tamper with evidence engage in witness intimidation and allow these women to place all the blame on Robert Kelly. Meanwhile, all the people who did these actions are not being held accountable as this enterprise they claim Robert Kelly is the leader of. Make that shit make sense. Hello and welcome to my channel. Go ahead, hit the like, hit the share, subscribe if you haven't already. If you haven't looked at the internet, these Oscars still have everybody feeling some type of way. And it's very ironic when I make certain points and I bring to the forefront that when we see things like this, we should also notice these topics are intentionally put out here for everybody to give their opinions and nobody recognizes how it causes so much division around remedial points that make no sense when nobody wants to address right from right, wrong from wrong. It seems like depending on who you are, people will make a million excuses when you do things publicly that are wrong, yet they will allow other people to monopolize these platforms to talk about all the things that they heard other people doing that makes no sense so when I watch all these celebrities and their hypocritical responses and even old Gail King posing to the public all these people who were sickened and how they're trying to figure out the best cause of discipline for Will Smith that's very funny because I know what would happen in the real world if somebody like me did the same thing. And I can guarantee it won't be all these excuses as to why I was triggered to respond. Yet as I hear these people stage this united front around Will Smith and talk about how he was just protecting the black woman, I find that very comical. Especially when you can clearly see his natural reaction to the joke. And it's even ironic how all these men have been given these 
lifestyles. Meanwhile, these women sit in the background and they get all the backlash when their little flings go public. Meanwhile, these men can do anything they want and it's not a problem. So from my perspective, it seems like to me, Will Smith was trying to make a point. Now, what you want to take from that point is on you. But again, right is right, wrong is wrong. And I just find it very strange watching certain people with certain allegations put their input like everybody can't be sickened about the things hiding behind their closed doors. And I'm supposed to take serious these celebrities who know all about the backdoor policies who now want to come out talking about, see, that's why we need our own platform. We got all these billionaires doing this, 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 and that, but all these people want to juck and jive for the man, knowing damn well why we don't have no solid platforms for people like us because all these entertainers have been content and complacent making money for other people and for some strange reason they get this untouchable vibe around them and have to get a dose of reality as to how no matter how much money you make them you are replaceable <laughs> Dana J, Levi for Kelly, Prima Donna News, I don't even want to see it. Just take the phone. Look, you got some lead? Hey, gotta get some. All right, hurry up. These and them here, everybody here, we waiting on you. All right. <laughs> Sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. And uh, it just, it really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. There was some question today about if anyone else had walked from the audience and done that, they would have been escorted out by security or maybe even arrested. The police asked, asked Chris if he been. wanted to file charges. They asked Chris, do you want to file charges? And Chris apparently said, no, he did not. He doesn't want the hassle. I, I'd have, I'd have uh, for announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million because that video is going to be there forever. It's going to be ubiquitous. You know, that insult is going to last a very long time. If you want to yell from the audience and disapprove or sh show a disapproval or say something on Twitter or whatever, you you know, you do not have the right to, to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. No, no, I agree. I, I think we all agree on that. I just thought, Jim, but, that it escalated to that. You but, know what I mean? That it escalated to that level. It didn't escalate. It came out of nowhere because Will has something going on inside him that's yes. frustrated, and I, I, I wish him the best. I really do. I don't, I don't, you know, mm -hmm. I don't have anything against Will Smith. He's done great mm -hmm. things, but that was have not a to good moment. It cast a, a pall over everybody's shining moment last night. You know, a lot of people worked really hard to get to that place and to have their moment in the sun. And to, to get their award for the really hard work they did, and, a, and, a, and it, it is no mean feat to go through all the stuff you have to go through when you're nominated for an Oscar. It's a gauntlet of devotion that you have to do. And, uh, and you know, just it was just a selfish moment to cast a pall over the whole thing. Death lawsuit was filed against Jim Carrey, accusing him of triggering the suicide of his girlfriend, Catriona White. And the accusations against Jim just got extremely personal. The estranged husband of Catriona White just amended his wrongful death lawsuit against Jim Carrey. Mark Burton says Catriona took her own life because, as he claims, Carrey gave her three different sexually transmitted diseases, then lied about it, and when confronted, he dumped her. Engine 88 death investigation. The Irish actress was found dead last September at this home after consuming multiple prescription drugs, including oxycodone and oxymorphone. Miss White overdosed on drugs that were supplied to Mr. Carey. 
under a bogus name, Arthur King. Well, hold on. <laughs> Y'all see this shit? So we ain't supposed to keep pointing out all these janky ass people who were also involved in this case against Robert Kelly who want to go in the courtroom and act crazy with this janky ass physician prescribing medicine to individuals even though he wasn't his physician, even though he clearly said his test result for this herpes was negative and doesn't prove that he himself has the herpes considering they have his medical records but yet the good old black community want to sit up here and let the government select two people out of all the people they parade in front of you say they were diagnosed with this disease they don't take no damn medicine and the government is allowed to come back and say, well, because these allegations were undisputed, they should stand regardless the common sense. But anywho, it says a lot when you allow a convicted extortionist provide so-called evidence and sit over here and settle all these other celebrity lawsuits behind closed doors. This week, through his lawyer, her estranged husband filed suit, accusing Carrie of trying to cover that up. Mr. Carey sent a text message to Miss White, who was already deceased for three days, uh, trying to claim that his drugs were missing. In response, Jim issued a statement to ET saying, quote, I will not tolerate this heartless attempt to exploit me or the woman I loved. Back in 2013, in a series of alleged texts attributed to be between Catriona and Jim, she reveals that she discovered, quote, a couple of bumps and wanted to get it checked. Carrie allegedly texted back, it could be from someone before me, followed by a breakup text, I've come to the end. In response to the STD allegations, a lawyer for Jim tells ET the claim is, quote, desperate and bogus, while Carrie himself added, quote, the real disease here is greed, shameful greed. Now, considering the individuals involved in putting this story out to the public, it could be true, it could be false, it could be embellishments. At the end of the day, the overall hypocrisy of these individuals is what gets me. So when I bring you content, I want you to keep in mind, regardless of what goes on these platforms, the intent of the person bringing it may vary. However, when it comes to me in specific, can only speak for me, I like to give you a well-balanced perspective. Therefore, you can make your own decision as to how you feel about the topic. I will not run with the things being broadcast by mainstream media, nor will I participate in narratives being put out there for malicious intent in order to spin a narrative. So in conclusion, moving forward, when you hear these individuals, whether it's a YouTuber or whether it's your favorite celebrity, there's absolutely nothing wrong with fact checking the opinions that are being displayed to you. Why? Because we see how so many opinions, rumors, and speculations can lead to a person's downfall for what? So the people who are oppressed by real life situations find themselves at odd with individuals they don't even freaking know on the internet as a result of different perspectives in which each individual should walk away. So uh, I do believe that because initially I was talking to Angelo Caleri and I was talking to Tim Savage in the very beginning because one of the things that me and, that, that I felt was important to do was get everybody at the table so we can mediate this thing. Let's, let's you know, sit down, let's work this thing out so we can get the girls back home, at least get the, the families involved in their lives in some capacity and we were planning on doing it around the holidays. And... It just always turned into a fucking production. It had to be some music being made, an album going to be put out, and I'm like, listen, fuck all that. Let's just get everybody back together, get it. Then we can work on that shit, you know. And the only person that seemed to I be have a, any kind of conversation, decent conversation, with initially was Angelo Clary. Now, most of it was probably him probing the shit out of me, but I was doing the same thing to him. So, you know, um, but you know, for for the most part. It, it seemed like it could be handled amicably.
I don't know what's up with Don. I'm gonna call Don, yo. I got Don personal number. I'm gonna call him. You like Me Too movement who played the role to get a part of a, a goddamn TV series to be a, a their name affiliated with it, and I ain't get a phone call. Even that shit was the phone call from, from Tanya Burks. So let's Here. stop making people false heroes. And I'm not saying that about anybody because not the nation, because I know Minister Fergon. You know, he definitely spoke. I think he had a private meeting with him. Nobody really know what the depths of the meeting went, but I know he did have a meeting with him. But these other ones that was a part of uh, Lifetime and, and all this shit, I, we need them. We need them to step up and them to, to, to act like they, they plan a platform. All we do is plan on each other as black people. That's it. The fame and fortune. That's it. I want to say this, low, and I don't mean to cut you off. I got to say this. I, I gotta see. I see who Tasha unwind on you. I see you, good person. I want to see all these other bloggers that's on here. I Look, Angelo couldn't even keep a straight face with that shit. <laughs> I want you to take what I'm gonna say to you right now. Right now. You got a big platform. I really need for you to hear me clearly. I need everyone. Said what happened on that lifetime documentary. Hold them accountable. Hold lifetime accountable. Hold Bloom and Mary accountable. Hold these people accountable to make sure these people can go on lifetime and say what they said happened. Hold these people accountable. Make sure they talk to uh, Kim Fox. Make sure they talk to Carl Howe. Make sure they talk to uh, Homeland Security. Make sure they talk to the uh, FBI. These people are waiting on to hear from you. From my knowledge, some of them have not heard from you. And if you haven't uh, talked to them, well, shame on you. <laughs> You're going to see this in, in future testimony. But Azrael knows where everything is. When I say the tape, she knows who's who. She knows where the bank accounts are, where the money is. She knows who's who's using who. Not seen what we've been trying to show you that you've been brainwashed. But once she watched that documentary and she read the emails that I sent over to her uh, that he was sending to Joycelyn, telling Joycelyn the same things that he told her. Um, hiding other tapes for Azrael, just like uh, London on the Tracks mom was doing, Cheryl, I forgot her last name, Cheryl Mack or whatever. Um, and so I'm trying to tell you without telling you too much, because like I said, this is a federal case. And I've even helped out uh, the feds with all the information that I've been given. So I was working with the uh, department, was it the Department of State? Uh, Homeland Security, one of them damn please. Homeland Security, my lawyers were, uh, to hand them over everything uh, that we had received. Yeah, I talked to Angela now. You gotta get rid of Mason, and you have to get rid of this brother. Because Mason is going to Specific, be specific, rip me apart out. Okay, I want you to find out. I, I want you to find out how and let me know. And when I drop the videos, the pictures, the paperwork, for him to get on live to say that Azrael is not right in R. Kelly, really? Really? Now I gave him R. Kelly's jail records. 
him how he got R. Kelly's jail records. Ask him how I got the, e the emails between Azrael and R. Kelly. So you mean to tell me I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about? The article state that the other person was in trouble. It did not. It did not. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. You think we don't know? And I'm not saying that they can't pull no shit. But what I'm saying is I'm talking about the article at hand. There was a reason why the article didn't say what it said. And for people to make all these assumptions and, and oh boy, to be a lawyer, you should know. If the fans got something, they ain't going to announce it. They already got it. And, and if they're going to do something with it, they're going to do something with it. Ain't going to be no reporter letting people know ahead of time what's going on. When you hear bad investigation, everybody know that. Guess what? You hear after they've made arrests, okay? You hear after that. Get the bag. 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 Get the b